What up YouTube, this your boy Open Mind and I felt I had to chime in on this shit here. Man, look, after this update, um, basically, I think everybody knows this, just a couple of days into this, people who disconnect or rage quit, rage quit, okay, get permanently banned, right? Now, of course, there's more details to that. Anybody who read that disclaimer, like when you, as soon as you cut the game on after the update, you go into the, um, the online lobby and that message comes up and tell you what's up, right? Okay. And here's why I disagree with this. And before anybody come under the video acting crazy talking about, oh, you're a rage quitter <laughs> with, your, with your word vomit. Listen, I need y'all young-minded video game guys who just play video games all day and don't know anything about business, don't know anything about um, ethics, code of ethics, marketing, uh, professionalism, all that stuff to do with business, right? A lot of y'all just play video games. You're really good at these fighting games. You're really good at YouTube, but you really suck at your information, right? Y'all don't know anything about how the world works, how the economy works, how government politics work. And a lot of, some of y'all do, but a lot of y'all just really don't buy the things that you say on your videos. It's your intelligence shows, right? I have seen, I have come, I have searched the, the, the YouTube rabbit holes to see what people were talking about pertaining to this ban. I was trying to see, you know, is anybody, you know, seeing this for what it is, right? It seems like everybody's cheering on YouTube. Yeah, fucking rage critters. Yeah, learn to take your L. I, so I hate rage critters. Oh my God, you fucking rage critters. You make me sick. Oh, fucking yeah. And, 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 and now we're going to have a better community of, of players. And all y'all cheering and celebrating about this, this permanent ban on people who quote unquote rage quit. Quote unquote. Notice how I said quote unquote. I'll explain later. There's no way to prove that somebody rage quit. There's no way to prove that. The, the message specifies disconnecting. People who disconnect before the match is over will be banned for a week, first offense, and then repeated offenses banned permanently from playing this game online. Right? Okay, now... Here's why I disagree and here's why that needs to change and here's why this is a bullshit policy that Namco Bandai has implemented to, to, to satisfy you crying whiny babies who have complained to get this done because the only way that something like this could even happen is if you guys complain and whined and cried with your emails and your constant, constant, constant online uh, barrage and blogs of bitching and complaining about quote unquote rage quitters, right? I'm going to keep saying quote unquote rage quitters because that's what you guys say they are, right? Now, mind you, I'm not going to sit here and act like people don't rage quit on video games, period, right? What we have... In the, in the fighting game community or the online community have deemed when somebody disconnect before the end of the match, you got a full life bar, they've got an inch of their life left, it's obvious that you're going to win, and then suddenly the match disconnects, you don't get your win, they don't get penalized, so on and so forth, right? I'm not saying that doesn't happen. I am acknowledging that behavior. Here's what I'm saying. You can't prove that it's a rage quit. A quote unquote rage quit. You can't prove that. You're sitting on your couch or in your video game chair playing your video game. You can't see in their, inside their home to know definitively that that's what happened when the match disconnected. You don't know. Even if your gut is telling you that they rage quit, when it comes to coding and video game coding and, and people working at these corporate offices at, at the Bandai Namco video game studio, them people sitting in their desk office cannot determine that it was definitively a rage quit. 
because the because the message box specifically says disconnecting if you have trouble with your signal check your connection because you don't want we don't want you to get unfairly you know banned when when it's just a bad connection but that's right there where they acknowledge that their shit that this is a bullshit policy they didn't give no in-depth response they just said if you're disconnecting due to bad connections check your connection or something like that right if you guys read that sentence there is the therein lies the bullshit they've already acknowledged that hey there's going to be some 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 situations where people are going to be unfairly banned on this game so they should probably check their connection and make sure that it's the connection and not them or whatever the fuck they tried that's the best attempt at them covering their ass in the event that people either try to sue them for people not being able to play because th here's what the lawsuits are going to say if people decide to sue Bandai Namco for this Dragon Ball Z shit you spent a hundred dollars on this game not sixty bucks probably a hundred bucks the game itself is fifty nine ninety nine plus tax sixty five bucks after taxes the season pass is thirty bucks after taxes thirty five bucks for the season pass that's about a hundred bucks right to play this game to get all the characters and costumes and stages and everything that comes with it it's a hundred bucks to then get banned a week or permanently after you they're not going to give you your hundred dollars back because so you're basically saying for some little stupid title on the screen that's a rank right you, you're on your couch grinding trying to get a title on your screen that says god or whatever the fuck rank you're trying to get right and then someone rage quits to prevent you from doing that and then you get mad at the game company developers and say it's their fault you're mad at an individual on the under end of their couch who didn't let you beat them. Think about what you're saying. You, you guys need to take, their, take your L. Look, listen, people, when you spend 100 bucks, you can do whatever the fuck you want to do. This is your property. You own this property. You own this video game. Nobody should, can tell you what you can and can't do on your fucking couch. As bad as we hate rage quitters, as much as we can't stand them they irritate the hell out of us oh my god you punk why did you rage quit you fucking suck whatever the hell we're feeling but think about this think about it from a bird's eye view a business view and an ethical view ethical means i gave you my money for a product and you're not letting me use that product because somebody else across the way said that they don't like how i use my product because a person who's rage quitting is allowed to rage quit by law because they spent their fucking money. You spent their hundred fucking bucks, you can rage quit all the fuck you want, even if you get made fun of for doing so. You spent a hundred fucking dollars of your hard-earned fucking money that you went to work and toiled somewhere at somebody's job, pissing job, or, or fucking uh, dead-end place just to buy this fucking game, to come home and enjoy it, if you don't like the match that you're in and you want to fucking rage quit, that's your fucking business. Take, your, uh, take the, the ridicule or the jokes or the trolling that comes with it, but if that's what the fuck you want to do, you can do that because you spent the hundred fucking dollars. That's why you should be able to rage quit. And, I, and, and, and it sucks that I actually have to advocate for these fucking rage quitters. I hate rage quitters myself, but I'm going to stand up for rage quitters just like you stand up for the First Amendment for a person who's a big and asshole fucking racist son of a bitch, but the freedom of speech let them say whatever the fuck they want. It's the same thing. This is a violation of our consumer rights. You spent $100 on this product, you should be able to do whatever the fuck you want. And here's the second point before I end the video, because I'm running out of time here. The second point is, it says, it specifies disconnecting. Okay, and it, it, before the end of the match. Okay, what if I disconnect that verse screen? What if, what if, as soon as the fight starts, and five seconds into the fight, I see that this guy is laggy as shit. This is a laggy match. Oh, hell no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do this. And back to back to back, I get a bunch of laggy ass fucking Wi-Fi warriors who are online and just fucking... Sorry about that. Who are online and just ruining my experience with the laggy connections. I'm not going to take that fight. I'm going to disconnect. Quote, unquote. So was that a rage quit? When, if we didn't even get to, into the fight good? None of our life bars were really, you know, moved because I could barely jump or barely even maneuver my character because of his laggy, trashy fucking connection. And I decided in a split second, uh, you know what? I don't want this fight. 
you know, objects of rage couldn't take the loss or take the deduction and points that they give you for rate for, for disconnecting. But in my in, in, in this situation, these these situations that happen often, not just me, a person decides to disconnect from the fight before the fight even starts, get good because they just try to just jump. Okay? Round one, fight, and they try to jump in the air, and it's like it's stiff. They can't even fucking move. And like, oh hell no, I'm not gonna do it. I'm I'm nipping this shit in the bud before it even gets good. And then that happens back to back. They disconnect from that fight. They get another laggy son of a bitch. Disconnect from that fight, and another laggy son of a bitch. And all these laggy son of a bitches that you got three, four, five back to back to back in a row that you yourself decided, hey, I'm disconnecting from this. I'm not gonna fight these guys. This is too laggy. I'm not dealing with any laggy people. In other words, Bandai Namco is punishing us for their lack of fucking business model when they put this game out. All you need to do is just penalize people for rage quitting. Give them deduct points, give them a loss, and give the other person a win. Done deal. Not ban somebody from the game for life permanently. Yeah, they can make another account, but think about what you're doing. You are, dis you are deterring people from playing the game, even the people who like the game. They're gonna, they're gonna be a lot of innocent collateral damage bystanders with this perma ban. Okay? Yeah, the rage quitters are gonna get perma banned, but there's gonna be a lot of people who are not legitimate rage quitters. It's like, hey man, I'm gonna disconnect and I'm gonna keep disconnecting until I get a good signal where there's a, a good smooth battle, where there's no fucking lag. Because lag is, is going to be the determining factor here. Lag is going to kill this game. You guys need to fix your fucking netcode. And then you determine who's rage quitting. Or who's disconnecting prematurely. Your netcode is trash, Bandai Namco. How is it that you can make a perma band, but you sons of bitches can't even fix your fucking netcode, which some of these, a lot of these matches disconnect, and neither one of us disconnected. Your netcode disconnected us. And how often does that happen back to back to back to back? And who's going to get penalized, me or my opponent? And this is why I don't like the perma band.